Uh, just after having the time to uh, look through everything that happened in game one for you guys, what do you feel like were the biggest issues defensively? Really just trying to lock in on our keys. We kind of missed a few of those, but I feel like the biggest thing from game one is having something to learn from and focus on for the weeks to come. To you guys playing an offense like Oklahoma, um, is it intimidating at all? Uh, how do you view going up against a team with this much firepower? Um, no, it's not intimidating. As we all know, they are a very good team. But as long as we lock in on our keys, then we should be fine. We should be able to play everything, anybody. Appreciate it, Will. Scott Fritchin. Yeah, hey Will, congrats on the start, man, on your your first game. That's that's great. Uh, what do you feel like you bring to the table? What kind of impact can you make on the defense? Really, just a lot of speed and explosive plays. You know, I'm really just trying to be out there, make the make the best of it and the most of all the opportunities, and just put the team in a good position to be successful. Now, Skyler said that it's either between you and Josh Youngblood as far as who's the fastest on the team. Who is the fastest? Yeah, I'm going to have to take that. I'm going to have to take it. I'm yeah. going to take it. I'm the fastest. What's your 40 time? 4-3. Four, 4-3. Three. Four, three. Flat? Blazing. No, nah, about 4-3-9. Four, 4-3. Three, nine. Four, three, <laughs> <high> four, three. <laughs> One other question. It's rare that K-State goes into a game as big of an underdog as you guys are this week. Oklahoma is favored by 28 points. Just what's your response to that point spread and maybe – what kind of us against the world mentality do you guys need to bring Saturday? You know, we see stuff like that, and we pretty much don't really worry about that or tend to it. But, you know, it kind of just fuels our fire. You know, we know the, what we're doing over here. We know what we need to fix, the problems we need to fix, and we're just going to get it done, and we're going to go out there and do our best to handle business on Saturday. Thanks, Will. Good luck, man. Yep. Kels. Hey, well, take me through your emotions from that first game. What was it? What was it like to be out there making plays? And it was it was exciting, but you know, as a result, we just it's like you just got to get those. And you know, for myself and the team, we know we all emotions were flying first game, being excited to play. But at the end of the day, we got to execute business. And when you look at Oklahoma, what is the biggest challenge about defending that offense? Really just, we just got to remain focused and stay calm. We know they're a good team, but as long as we do what our coaches tell us to do, they put us in a position to be successful and we'll be fine. Is there anything that kind of stands out to you about their quarterback that makes him uh, him special? Um, You know, we're both young, so we'll see. I haven't really heard too much about him or really looked into it, but I know he's a great player and shoot, we're just going to have to get it done on Saturday. Got these last two with the hands raised, uh, Sully and then Fitz. Let's go ahead, Sully. Yeah, well, obviously you had that, you know, the great opening start to the game. That you kind of have a scary injury too. Can you just kind of talk us through that? Just the wide range of emotion for that day. Really, just you know, we practice things, we watch film. So it's like when you make those plays, you can only just thank your coaches and your teammates for preparing you for moments like that because it's it's like. You know it's going to happen. You practice for it all week. So when it happens, you know, it's just so exciting because you were able to trust it and execute. Yeah, and, and for you guys, you know, Coach Clem talked about the last week. You guys have really just kind of concentrated on, on fixing whatever you guys did wrong. Was it nice to kind of take that step back and kind of reevaluate that base to go forward and play a team like Oklahoma on Saturday? Yeah, I definitely feel like it was something that we needed to do, just step back and evaluate everything and, Really just, it was great to be able to focus in on some of the problems that we had and some of the things we needed to fix because, honestly, it's made us a way better team. We're able to attack practice different and just move forward as a team and together. Thanks, man. Last one here, Fitz. You're muted. You're muted. There it is. Well, I'm uh, I'm curious. What's the message within the team that uh, about COVID and how you guys have to handle it? Uh, not the coaches, what the coaches are telling me, but what the leaders in the locker room are saying, because the cases, or at least the quarantines for the exposed possible exposures, keep going up. Uh, how hard is this for the team to maintain 
being healthy. Man, you know, it's it's kind of just like we know it's going to be difficult and really just we have to be able to hold ourselves accountable to not go out, not go to parties, just keep it within the facility, go home, and then just come back, wear your mask, just got to be disciplined. But we know it's going to be a challenge, and some people may have to play multiple positions or or just take care of a team need, and shoot, it's just hard right now. But everybody's kind of, you know, taking that step in being responsible, wearing your mask, and just doing the things we need to do to be able to protect this team and help the team move forward. How difficult is it, though, when you've got, you know, roommates that may not be in the football program or whatever, they're going out and living their best lives, which may not be in your best interest? Man, it's it's hard. It's hard to see it because, you know, you got people out here that they had a chance to go out, you know, they go out, they party, they sing stuff, they invite you places, but you just got to – it's like – you got to care about it. Like, the team matters, so you just got to put that behind and just take care of that later. Like, we're taking care of business right now. And, like, that's the main focus is just moving forward and getting through this season and just being able to push on.